Hey guys, it's Brittany from Book Afterthoughts. Today I am doing my September and October wrap up. I just smashed them together because in September I only read two books, so I didn't think it was. I don't know, I just didn't feel like doing a video, I guess. Um, so, without further ado, let's just get into it. So, we'll start with the book that I read in September. And that was, so the first book was Wonder Woman. I don't know if you can see it. Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. I gave it a three stars. Didn't love it, but didn't hate it. Uh, so it's kind of, it's, so it's about teenage Diana and she leaves the mascara to help. Leah, who is a war bringer, and so she's helping her, I guess, essentially not be a war bringer, but also she's finding herself as a teenage girl who is an Amazon, like she wants to be an Amazon, but she has to prove herself, so she, it's a good book on that. Um, there's a lot of good friendships, strong friendships, and a lot of strong female characters. Um, reasons I gave it a three stars. The hype was too much for me. Like, it was big and I just, I guess I was just disappointed. Um, I found it kind of slow and boring at times. Not to say that I wouldn't read it again. I probably would. Um, and maybe my opinions would change then. But I just found that my expectations were too high and I was let down. But it was good and I still love Wonder Woman and I still love Lee Bardugo. Uh, so three stars. The next book that I read is the sequel to The New World Rising. And that is New World Ashes by Jennifer Wilson. So this is book two. Um, I'm not really going to do a summary because I don't want to give this series away. It's really good. I highly recommend it. Um, I gave this a four stars. Um, there's new characters. There's new world development. Uh, there's a lot of plot twists. I honestly have nothing bad to say about this series. I loved it and I think everyone should read it. Um, if you like like dystopian, post-apocalyptic kind of worlds, this series is definitely for you. Um, yeah, I just, reading this entire series, I felt kind of had like a Hunger Games vibe, but instead of killing for sport, they're killing for survival, and... I don't, like I said, I don't want to give too much away because this book, this series is really good and I think everyone should read it if you haven't. So that's all I read in September. I know, pretty boring. Uh, but October I read a total of five books. So let's just get into that. So the first book that I read in October, I actually started in September, but didn't finish it, clearly. Now it is A Dance of Cloaks by David Dalglish. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, so this is about assassins, like the Thieves Guild. And they're at war with, I can't remember. So it's like, kind of, they're at war kind of like with the noblemen. Um, And so the the guy who's kind of conducting this all is Thren Falhorn, and he's like the greatest assassin ever, and everyone fears him. And then he has his son, who he wants to take, like he wants his son to take over his legacy. But his son doesn't really want to do that. Um, I gave it a three, three and a half stars. I liked it, but I didn't love it. I found it to be very slow at some times. 
I found it hard to read mostly because there's different perspectives and point of views. Um, I don't really care for a lot of them. I just really wanted to follow one person. If you've ever played the game Skyrim, reading this book totally felt like I was reading about Skyrim. Um, but yeah, I just, I guess I was kind of disappointed, like I'm all about the assassins and I think mostly just because of the whole multiple point of views just kind of threw me off. I do plan to read the net, like the I want to finish the series because I do want to know what happens. Um, and I've heard that the rest of the series does get better. So I am going to continue on with it. I just, I wanted to love it. I did. But I didn't. So, restart. Three and a half stars. If you've read these, if you've read this series, let me know if it does get better because I was really disappointed with this book. Um, but that being said, I did have some good books. So the next one was the third and final installment in the New World trilogy. And that is New World Inferno, again by Jennifer Wilson. Again, I'm not going to give a summary because it's going to... Ruin book two and book one if you haven't read them. Um, but this one, I think, was the best out of all of them. I gave it a four stars. I don't remember if I said that I gave the book two four stars as well. Um, this one really kept me on my toes, like what was gonna happen. It was a big emotional roller coaster, like. Are your characters that you like gonna die? Like, what's going on? I did find it was a bit rushed at the end. Like, they just kind of were like, okay, we gotta end it, throw this stuff. But other than that, and other than finding some errors, spelling errors in here, I really enjoyed this series and I highly, highly recommend it. Um, if you've read this series, comment below and we can talk about it. I just don't want to give anything away because it's so good. So if you haven't, read it. Read one, two, and three. Just read them all. Um, I will say this. So the first book we got in our Owl Crate box, I think, for, I believe for June. Yeah. Um, but in Canada, at least in my chapters, they didn't sell them, and I could order them through like the kiosk, but they didn't even have pictures of what the book looked like, so I didn't want to do that in case I was getting a different version. So I ordered mine through Barnes & Noble. But other than that, I really, really enjoyed this series. It's like one of my favorites now. dogs are being crazy. Alright, let's try and finish this up. So next I read The Novice by Taryn Matharu. I think that's his name. So this is about a boy named Fletcher. Uh, he's a blacksmith's apprentice and he has the ability to summon demons. So this book is about... So there's this war between orcs, elves, and humans. So very much like the Hobbit, and the orcs and like the, these guys, like everyone pretty much, if they have the ability, they can summon a demon, and the demon will help them fight. Um, so Fletcher comes across this book, and he reads a passage, and he realizes he can summon a demon. So then he goes to, he has to leave his town because something bad happens, and he has to leave because he doesn't want to get in trouble. Um, so he ends up going to this school, yeah, he ends up going to this school to train to become a battle mage, 
that's what they're called, like the summoners. Um, so he does that. He has to go through all these challenges and tests and whatever. And there's a big plot twist at the end. Um, I gave it a three stars. I enjoyed it. I did. But I just wanted more. Like. So I got, so this is what I enjoyed. I got a Harry Potter and the Hobbit vibe from it. Because there's orcs, there's elves, and there's humans, and there's even an albino orc. Hello, Hobbit right there. Um, but I just, just wanted more. Like, I just wanted to know more about these demons and how this war started. And I just wanted more. Like, I get it, it's the first book and I think a duology. So there's a lot of character building and world building. But I just found it very slow. And... I don't know. But not to say, like, I am going to continue with the series, or the duology. Because uh, I do want to know what happens. Um, I just think, like, maybe my expectations were too high. I don't know. But, needless to say, despite the three stars, I did enjoy it. I thought it was funny at times, it was cute, like, it was great. Just not more than three stars for me. Um, next book that I read, I actually listened to the audiobook. Because I didn't feel like reading the actual book. So... That is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. And this is obviously a Throne of Glass novella. Um, it's about Kale's perspective and Nezrin. So it's about their perspective on the war. Um, Kale and Nezrin go to this place. Can't remember what it's called. Antica. They go to Antica. And if you've read the series, then you know that Kale got hurt, I think it was two books ago, and he has ended up in a wheelchair. So this book is about him trying to find allies for the war, but also him trying to get help and rehabilitate himself, because he does not like being in a chair, and I don't blame him. Um, I gave it, I think, a three stars. There's a lot of three stars here, actually. I'll start with the positives. I enjoyed very much seeing someone else's perspective on this war, other than Aelin Gelfinius. Um, so it was nice to see Dorian's perspective. We meet new characters and we see a new worlds, so I really enjoyed that. Um, Things I didn't enjoy. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for saying this. I am over this series. Not to say I don't like it, because this is one of my favorite series and I love it. I'm just over it. I want it to be done. Like, done. Like, finish it already and move on. Um, I am also really annoyed and fed up with the whole sex sexual content in her books. There's my dogs. Sorry. Yeah, so I'm really over the whole sexual content, like, you get it. They're having sex. You don't need to go into detail. Looking at my notes here. Yeah, so there were parts actually in this book, like, I don't remember what they call them in the books, but the spiders really freaked me out. I don't like spiders, so when listening to those, I was like, oh god, I'm creeped out. But I really enjoyed the new characters and the different perspectives on the war and 
there were some plot twists that was like, what? Didn't see that coming. But I'm just over this series. Like, obviously, I'm still gonna finish it because I want to know how it ends. But I just think it needs to end soon rather than later. Yeah, so that's that. And then the final book that I read finished yesterday, Monday, October 30th. And that was Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Menes Galco. I think that's how you say her name. She's the author of Stalking Jack the Ripper. I read that book. I enjoyed it. But I didn't love it. But then I read this one. And I loved it. I gave it five stars. Um, it kept me on my toes. So, like, if you've read Stalking Jack the Ripper, then you know that this is a continuation. So it follows Audrey Rose and her friend Thomas. And they go to the forensic school. Yeah, the prestigious forensic school in Europe and because they want to study there and Audrey's the only girl in class so she's having a hard time but she's really proving herself like I'm a girl so what uh, but then there's murders and um, everyone believes it's a vampire or it's Dracula um, cause the murders are very vampire -like. So they're hunting that, but they're also trying to do well in school without being kicked out. And I'm going to look at that because it's a really good book, so I recommend it. Um, I loved it. Like, I have nothing bad to say about it. It's not your typical love story. Like, Thomas and Audrey have a very strong friendship that leads beyond that. Um, but it's not, like... Oh, I love you so much. Like, whatever. It's they respect one another, and I think that's great, especially in this time period. Um, Audrey Rose is badass. There were times, literally, I was reading this book like on an overnight shift at work, and I'd read a couple chapters. I'd have to put it down because I'd be like, okay, like this is getting a little too much. Like. Is not scary per se, but it's just, it really kept me on my toes. So I was like, okay, I gotta put it down. But I really enjoyed it, and I highly recommend it, and I cannot wait for the next book. Because the way it ended, there's the next book. Yeah, so that's what I read for September and October. Um, if you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought. We can discuss that. I'll leave my Instagram below, and yeah, ciao.